Hello everyone and welcome to today's Across the Obelisk video. Today we're going to be talking about Fools. Fools is a character who focuses on maximising poison stacks and poison damage. He's fairly easy to unlock. To start, in Act 1 you navigate to the water mill at the top of the map and select Accept. You then complete Act 1 as normal and navigate to the green portal. In the green world, you work your way down towards the spider's lair, located at the bottom of the map. You then enter the spider's lair and work your way all the way to the end towards the spider queen. You then select combat and defeat the spider queen. And there you have it, you would have unlocked fulls. Fools' passive is Night Stalker, which grants you two stacks of stealth at the start of combat. His unique item Venom Flask applies poison to all monsters at the start of combat. When building perks on Fools, I like to go for a 43-7-0-0. On the front page you can balance the shards, gold, health and resistance as you like. I go for extra speed as well as giving speed buff because I'll be putting a Song of Celerity on him two pieces of energy and in the stealth tree I like to make sure that stealth increases resistances by 5% per charge because he naturally has stealth charges. On the physical tab I put points into poison and one extra charge of poison is the way I like to go. You could go for poison detonating at the end of each turn which is good against bosses and people who like to dispel poison but it's up to you really I prefer one extra stack of poison. Bulls' starting deck includes his unique card Killer Instinct, which dispels Mark, gives some energy, some stealth and powerful stacks, three poison darts, sneak peek, two blurs, four viper strikes, three jewel strikes, and an ambush. When building Fools, my strategy is to make sure he puts as much poison as possible as quickly as possible. So I like to add two toxic rains because they just put poison on absolutely everyone. Two Song of Celerities, because they burn and buff the team. Two Vigilances, because they are very cheap and they burn instantly. An Uproot is really good for the final boss of Act 1, and also puts poison and vulnerable on an enemy. And I also like to add one more blur for survivability. I very aggressively trim down the deck and remove all of these damaging cards, because my goal is to be a very cheap deck, I can just pump out poison for free. When upgrading cards, I like to upgrade the sneak peek so that it burns, because I never want to play it twice. I like to upgrade my toxic rain. You can choose if you want to go for all the water toxic rain or just the more stacks of poison, depending on your team comp. I upgrade one song of celerity so that it becomes innate, and I upgrade the uproot so that it does not disappear. The idea of this deck is that by turn three, I would have burnt every card except for the poison dart, the toxic rains and the uproot, meaning that I only spend one mana per turn afterwards. This allows you to put in an expensive card that you may find later to make fools just that little bit stronger. In the shop you're going to want to keep an eye out for any item that increases your poison stacks, so Venom Amulet is the perfect item for fools. When you're looking at pets, Slimy is by far the best pet because he puts poison on all enemies and that poison increases with your perks. The Entry is a second option, she's a bit cheaper and but only hits one person at a time. So if you can afford it, always go for Slimy. When playing Fools, you just want to put as much poison as possible, as fast as possible. As you can see here, before the turn even starts, every single enemy has 12 stacks of poison. Ideally, your main damage source will be hitting the primary target, whilst you just put poison on everyone else so that when the time comes, they are very easy to finish off. Fools is a very fun hero to play and he often tops the damage meter without actually doing any direct damage. The only downside is if you run into people who dispel things but as long as you just keep stacking they will still be taking damage. And you can always try the other perk on the poison tree which detonates poison at the end of each turn. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Across the Obelisk content, please like, subscribe and whatever else. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.